What do you think about red? It has been well established that color perception is subjective. Different cultures have their own association with the variety of colors they have recognized in their languages. A single color may have different, even contrasting meanings across different cultures. Take a look at this stunning infographic from Information Is Beautiful. This is a beautiful visualization of colors and their many associations across different cultures. While this infographic undeniably displays diversity, it also reveals that certain colors are pan cultural. Obviously, red immediately comes to mind. This may be because of the simple fact that red is the first color that humans perceive after black and white. In this graphic, red is associated with passion in many parts of the world. Yet, a closer examination on this specific segment. Clearly shows us that Chinese culture does not associate red with passion. In Chinese culture, red is associated with many things, but not passion. Instead, it is the color of fire that symbolizes good fortune, fertility, joy, success, and marriage. You see lots of red colors during the Chinese New Year, or in many joyful Chinese festivities, weddings, celebrations, or when they open a new business. Of course, along with all those firecrackers, all these associations are of quite a significant contrast to how red is perceived in Western cultures, where red symbolizes stop, danger, anger, blood, and energy, to name just a few. So, if your native language is not Chinese, you might raise an eyebrow seeing the way red is used in daily expressions in Chinese. As compared to, say, English expressions, for example, as an exact opposite of the blacklist, we have the white list in English. Well, it's the red list in China. Hong Mingdan and Wang Hong, literally web red, is a term for internet celebrities, influencers, and all the vibes of gaining or seeking 15 minutes of fame online. Think your favorite stocks are being bearish because all the signs are flashing in red? Well, if the stock ticker is running in China, they are actually bullish. Red or Hong is indeed a very popular color in Chinese culture. If we break down the character into radicals, the left radical of Hong is the ancient character Mi or Si, which means fine silk or simply silk. And the right radical provides a sound, gong. The original meaning of hong was a pink or peach color, like today's fen hong or tao hong. Around the Middle Ages, hong evolved to cover scarlet, da hong, and it has never stopped evolving since. Today, hong is used to denote any shade of red, but. Hong itself is actually a relatively "quote unquote" new color term compared to the long historical usages of Chu and Che, two ancient characters for red that are still in use today. Hong first appeared in the Warring States period, about 475 BC. By then, Chu and Che had been in use for more than a millennium. The ancient Chinese character Che. First appeared in the Chinese oracle scripts around 5,000 years ago. In the oracle scripts and also later on in the bronze scripts, Che is written as a compound ideograph, Hui Yi, that is composed of two parts: Ren, human, or Da, big at the top, and Huo, fire at the bottom. Put together, it is meant to represent the red color of a fire, or the red colored as displayed by a red burn mark on human skin. So when someone says the color red in Chinese culture represents fire, most likely this is what they are referring to. The historical influence of chip can be seen in the Japanese word akai for red, where the stem comes from chu. Another use of this is in akajang. For baby, this word has its roots in an ancient Chinese word for baby, chizu, and in Japanese as akago. Again, another term for baby. 
Babies are called this way because the skin color of a newborn baby looks reddish. After the terms for a baby, we also have chetsu, which simply means barefoot in English. And after that, we progress on to chetsin, which means loyal or sincere heart. Apart from red, ch is also a term to denote south, due to its association with the element of fire as one of the five phases, or wu xing, the fivefold conceptual scheme that is widely used in traditional Chinese art and culture to explain a wide array of phenomena, including in Chinese medicine, philosophy, and more. In wu xing, as an element of direction, ch refers to south. So you have chi wei, which refers to the south direction. As another ancient Chinese character for red, the character chu is also as old as chi. Its original meaning denoted tree trunk or a type of conifer tree or cinnabar, the red mercury sulfide. The words chu sha or cinnabar refers to the unfortunately toxic mercury sulfide mineral. From its powdered mineral, ancient Chinese people extracted vermilion, the bright red pigment used to paint ceramic, to cover the walls and floors of rooms, and for ritual ceremonies. It was a luxury item to have then, so the Chinese words chu men is used to denote the big red traditional gate at the front of the house of the rich. Hence the poem chu men chu rou chou. Lu Yu Dong Suku, which can be freely translated as "Through the red gate flow the aroma of meat and wine, while frozen dead bones lay on the street." This poem depicted the use of Chu Men to imply the gates of someone very rich. Inside the red gates, the rich feasted on meat and wine, while outside, the poor lay dying. Chu is also a surname, and it is by no coincidence that throughout the Ming Dynasty, red was favored to connote power and status. After all, the personal name of the Ming Dynasty's first emperor was Chu Yuanzhang. Through these five thousand years of written history, we can get to understand why red is being used as it is today. So, as a closing note. And to stress again the subjectivity of color perceptions, black tea is hong cha, red tea, but hong tang, red sugar, is brown sugar in English. Sweet potatoes of any color are called hong shu, which is red potatoes in Chinese. Well, what about red potatoes? Well, that is. Tu do, literally soil bean. Americans print their money green. Chinese yuan is red. And if you want to call someone a green-eyed monster, well, jealousy is red eyes in Chinese. Hong yan. Okay, I've caused enough confusion for anyone starting to learn Chinese. So that's it for today. Thank you and bye. 再见。